Russia's Minister of Defense Sergei Shoigu once called mass media another arm of the armed forces. In states like Russia, this is definitely the case. Russia is a militarized authoritarian state with no real media freedom. Russian media broadcasts two types of propaganda. All propaganda tries to weaken people's critical thinking, but Russian propaganda for Russians is different than Russian propaganda for foreigners. When Russia tries to propagandize foreigners, they usually emphasize that Russia is no worse than Western countries. Well, if Kosovo is a special case, then Crimea is also a special case. It's just equally special. I think that's one of the fundamental misunderstandings from the West in looking at Russia, is that Russia has its own set of values. They're just different. Go ahead. Propaganda made for Russians, however, usually focuses on the specter of an enemy. This enemy is ultimately responsible for all internal problems. They are very clear about who the enemy is. The United States. This enemy is everywhere. Anyone who disagrees with Putin is presented as an American puppet. What does America want? Russians are told America is trying to destroy Russia, its last remaining opponent. Of course, Ukrainians who are just defending their country from Russian aggression are always American puppets. Russian television carried many stories about U.S. troops on the ground in Donbass. Операции на востоке Украины, которые проводят киевские власти, участвуют около 400 американских наемников. Это солдаты частной военной компании Academy. Ее сотрудники не раз оказывались в центре громких скандалов. Во время войны в Ираке их обвиняли в убийстве мирного населения и контрабанде оружия. Russian propaganda has recruited people to come kill Ukrainians in Donbass alongside the Russian army. After watching Russian coverage of events in Ukraine, this man came to fight fascists, committing genocide in Donbass. After six months, he left without finding any. Russians are told that they are brave people fighting against the evil global superpower. Vladimir Putin is presented as the only leader capable of leading Russia against this huge threat. Russians are now ready to accept any deprivation in order to avoid war. This is why the idea of war is the main instrument of influence in contemporary Russia. It undermines critical thinking, consolidates society around a military leader, and explains the hardships of an economic crisis.